Sports to the Bone family. Greetings, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Back at it, back at it, man. Yes, man. All right, my people. So I want to give you a quick update on the West Indies under 19 team. They had a World Cup game earlier today and they were able to secure victory quite easily. Gonna talk about that. Plus, we also see where our captain Craig Brathwaite spoke with the media prior to us going out to take on Australia in the second and final game. Now, there is one change to the plane 11. He spoke about that. Plus, he also spoke about the team in general. So, we're going to go through all of that. Let's give a listening ear and let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right, so Craig Brathwaite, well, let's start with the West Indies under-19 team because they had a very, very um, good win today. They went up against Scotland under-19 and we actually won the game by five wickets. So Scotland, they made 205 for nine off their 50 overs. So we didn't quite bowl them out, but we were able to restrict them. 205 for nine. No, the pacer Isaiah Thorne, he was amongst the wickets. He actually picked up four wickets, my viewers and subscribers. So Isaiah Thorne getting his World Cup up and running. He got four for 46 of his nine overs. Also picking up wickets, we would have seen Nathan Seeley once again getting some wickets. Um, he got two for 38 from his 10 overs. Um, Smith, he, he took one for 23. Raniko Smith, that is, of his 8 overs. We also saw Nathan Edward getting 1 for 26 of 8. So 205 is all Scotland were able to muster. Their opener, Jamie Dunk, he was the top scorer. He made 57 of 87, right? He was the man that led the way there for them. Now, in reply, the West Indies under-19 team going in search of that 205 we made 206 um, for 5 and we got the victory in 35.1 overs. So that is definitely good, my viewers and subscribers. Um, you know, let us look at the scorecard. Um, it was once again the wicket keeper batsman, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, he, he made another, he made a half century. He got 64 of 60 with 8 fours. You guys would remember he got a good century in the first game, even though we lost that game. He scored 130 odd in the first game, I think it was. And um, now he's top scoring again. At the top, Adrian Weir made 7 off 11. The captain, Stefan Pascal, he made 26 off 26 with 5 fours to his name. Um, Joshua Dorn, he made 11. Jordan Johnson made 24 off 24 with 3 fours. And. Um, Mavindra um, Dinyal, he made 29 of 24 with uh, four fours to his name. And as I said, Andrew made 64 of 60 with eight fours. Uh, Nathan Edward, he chipped in well at the back end also, picking up 27 not out, 27 of 56 with two fours. And let me remind, let me add this. Andrew was actually not out, my people. So that's 64 from 60 at a strike rate of 107. He was left unbeaten. So shout out to the West Indies under 19 team. You know, um, getting their first victory of the tournament. So they would have won. So they have won one game and they uh, lost one. So one, one and one, my people. So, you know, hope they will continue to work hard. You know, these are the future of tomorrow. These are the future cricketers. These are the guys that we want to see grow up and take over West Indies cricket. So, you know, shout out to them. It's good to see that they are um, over there doing their thing. All right. Up to the senior team now, my people. Craig Brathwaite. He spoke to the media and he was talking about the, the, the plane 11. You know, he was saying that Moti is out so moti is the only change as of now you know as of me recording this not sure if anything else will happen leading up to the game so kevin sinclair the half spinner goes in for um godikish moti brathwaite was saying you know the, the plan was just to get the half spinner to bowl um some overs to the left handers so that's the main reason 
he he was asked if it had anything to do with Sinclair's batting. You know, he was saying that he they think that Moti is also a capable player in terms of batting, but um, they just wanted to go that direction with Sinclair and the spin. Um, that was probably the only that was that was the only change I think I had in my playing eleven because I was saying that, and it's not that Moti. That's why I say it's rough when you have only two matches, you know. Because it's not like Moti is still my frontline spinner. But I was looking and I was saying, you know, it's it's and I can't even blame Moti because he didn't bowl a lot of overs. Nathan Lyon the same wasn't effective too too much in, in the first game. But when you have a two match and you're going with a man coming out of a, a A tour and a warm up game and taking wickets and making runs, you're going to be tempted to play him. You understand? So I, I am assuming that's why they went that way. Um yeah, so yeah, that's that's what Bradwaite was saying. Um, he was talking about the the, the 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 batsmen also. You understand, saying that the batsmen will have to be uh, will have to play a vital role in this game here. Himself alongside Tijnor and Shandopal will have to have to have to try and get the, the the thing going. Um, surprisingly, he said in the last game. The run rate was okay, you know, it's just that they lost wickets in cluster. It wasn't a matter of them scoring too slow or hanging around. It was just that they lost the wickets and lost the wickets in cluster. It wasn't a matter of the run rate. So I guess the, the, the aim is, you know, they are going to be looking to score at the same sort of pace in, um, in, in, in this game. He was also speaking about the pitch. He was saying that looking at the pitch, it looks good. It looks good for batting. And he's hoping that you know the guys will be able to get in and will um, get some work done on there. Uh, he also, was, you know, he spoke about the start, saying that the start is important and you know uh, the movement of the ball in the night there. Um, he was saying that if they bat, if this, if batting in the night is probably the most um, difficult part there on the lights. You know, so he was saying it's all about getting your eye in. And as it gets darker, you know, you try to um, see if you can, or, or, you know, if you, you can adapt. You understand? Because you would have been out there for a little while. Um, you know, he's saying that the players are, some of the players are not fully accustomed to the whole uh, pink ball setting. Because we don't play a lot of it, but they will just have to go out there and they will have to just fight for the team. You know, um, so that they're having discussions with the youngsters trying to get the ones that are not experienced up to speed what to expect and i mean brathwaite himself cannot even give a lot of advice um first and advice of pink ball based on, um pink you know based on the amount of pink ball games that he would have played not a lot out there you know so he said that the, co the players are are going to have to withstand it and do what they have to do uh he was saying that in the first test the players looked comfortable at different stages in the game it's just that they're gonna have to try and bat longer. They're gonna need to stay out there and bat, you know, to score runs. So that is basically how it is looking, my people. Later on tonight, uh, we shall see. Uh, just continue to stay tuned to the channel. The keys to victory will be coming in later on's video. Big up.